Welcome to Valwire on the River Thames. Today I've got a beautiful uh, English day boat to show you. This is uh, built by Landamores up in Norfolk. Norfolk. Uh, it's a Mayfly 21 from their launch and tender range. This boat is a demonstrator, but um, there are um, a wealth of choices that you can make in uh, having a Landamores boat built. So they're bespoke built. Um, you can see the beautiful finish on this particular one with the dark hull and, and matching cushions. But if you are interested in having one of these boats built, you can be very much be part of that process uh, and even visit the factory and choose all your colors and create your spec. I think with this particular boat, as a demonstrator, you'll agree, it's absolutely stunning and really shows off the boat to its absolute best. So a few key highlights I'd like to point out. Um, you've got this beautiful hardwood rubbing straight around the boat, beautifully finished hardwood decks and these beautiful combings that wrap around the cockpit that's a real signature of this and the smaller boat the Mayfly 16. Um, I'm going to jump you on board and just show you around the smaller parts and the accommodation. Just get a little bit more up close um, to that beautiful combing that I mentioned there and also show you the quality of the decks on the boat. Uh, coming back into the cockpit itself is quite a conventional day boat uh, arrangement with U-shaped seating around the front. This particular boat doesn't have a table, uh, but that is a factory optional extra that you could have. Um, it's got lovely hardwood flooring. In terms of storage, um, you've got a storage uh, in this locker here. So lift up underneath there, as you might expect, that lift comes up and you've got a decent storage area there and access to your bilge. Coming aft, these side benches are open, but there is an option to um, have your boat built with those two uh, storage as well. Um, midships, you've got a step in on both sides. Uh, it's got some non-slip on there, and that's why there's no cushion there, that's your step in. Um, that is access to your batteries. So both of those side sections, midships on the boat, are for battery storage, uh, and that's the same over there on that side. Coming aft, there are, you've got your rear seating area. There are two options. This particular boat has got the helm pedestal for steering, but you can opt to have a tiller on the boat if you like tiller steer, which gives you a lovely conventional, looks quite an enjoyable place to sit when you're up there. Torpedo propulsion on this, you've got an electric pod motor on the boat. That is your throttle uh, and your battery display, uh, giving you range current battery charge and current battery usage. Uh, final thing to mention about the rear part of the cockpit is that uh, if you just lift up that seat base there, uh, there is another large, large storage locker underneath there as well. So I'm just gonna take the boat uh, round our backwater with you just to hopefully get a little bit of a feel um, for the noise level that you can expect with an electric motor. Uh, on some boats it, it's almost completely silent and on others you do get a little bit of background whir as you do with this one. It, but compared to uh, having a diesel engine running it's really really quiet and peaceful. Because by the time you're underway um, we haven't got much movement yet but once we do have a bit of movement and you have the, the movement of the water um, and a few people chatting away and so on you, you barely hear it so it is you know, very very tranqu tranquil and very, very peaceful. So we're underway now, probably at about um, three or three miles an hour, I would say, I can't quite see the display at the moment. Yep, 2.9 miles an hour we're showing at the moment. So that's a, that's a nice river cruising speed. You don't particularly want to be going fast. That's not what it's all about. hoping that that gives you an indication of what this particular boat's like. And as you can see, just looking forward there, it is very spacious, it's quite a beamy boat. So you've got a lot of space there if you've got um, a good number of guests on board. Um, I will pick up the speed to the river speed limit, so that just gives you an indication of what to expect if you do need to make headway back to your mooring. Uh, and that's just under the river speed limit, so that's perfect. We're nicely underway. The, the engine tone, to be fair, or the motor tone, hasn't really changed at all. Very, very impressive. 
I hope you enjoyed this short introduction to electric boating on the Landamore's Mayfly 21. There are lots of other electric options out there, but if you want further details and specifications on this exact boat, please contact us through our website where all details can be found.